James Lynch here for the MMA Industry Podcast. And the question I get asked more than anything is how do I record my video interviews? So today I'm gonna to go through the equipment I use as well as show you some of the software I use to record my Skype video interviews. First off, I use what's called a Samsung USB mic, not Samsung like the phone, it's just a plug and play and it's very simple to use. And you can get it on Amazon right now for about $116 Canadian. American will be a little bit cheaper with the, with the price difference. The other thing I use is a Logitech HD portable 1080p webcam. Uh, they're super cheap right now, but 65 bucks. I've had mine for about 10 years and I won't use anything else. They're a lot better than the built-in webcams that you get on most laptops. And then finally, I use this newer 160 LED light. Oftentimes I have to record in my bedroom because I have a son and he's out in the living room and he makes a lot of noise. So I have to go and retreat in there. And this light is really good for kind of lighting up your face and they have different filters too, which is great. So you can use that for, uh, you know, different lighting and, and things of that nature. But this is sort of a, a basic setup that I use uh, for my video interviews. I'll also show you quickly a couple quick tricks. Uh, first one is uh, putting a sock over the Samsung microphone. I find it's better for feedback. You're not going to get any spit or any pops in the, in the microphone. The other is I'll put a box underneath my laptop so then the webcam is eye level with me uh, as opposed to flipping the laptop back and looking like you know someone's looking at you like you're a giant. Last trick is when it comes to speaking to your guests, make sure you wear headphones so you're not getting any feedback from the guest sound into your microphone. And how I get around this is I use earbud headphones. I put one side of the headphone in one ear, put it through my shirt so then it's not as obvious and you can still hear your guests. All right, so now under the software, you're going to need to uh, record your Skype video interviews. And of course, you need to get Skype. That's the first and most important thing here. Uh, so you want to go to Skype.com, download it uh, for your computer here. And uh, if you're on a PC like I am, you're not going to want to grab the Skype app. You want to get the actual classic Skype right here. So make sure you download that and not the app. Just got to give you fair warning on that. And in case you haven't noticed, uh, I am using a PC. And uh, this is mainly uh, what I'm going to go be going through is for people using a PC uh, as far as the software. I hear uh, Ecamm Recorder. Um, is not bad as far as uh, what you're going to use for a Mac. Here's Ecamm Recorder. I hear good things about it. I've never used it personally, but I do hear good things. So if you're a Mac person, go use that. But if you're on a PC, you're going to want to use Avair. Avair is awesome. I've used this for years. It works great. Yes, it has a couple hiccups here and there, but uh, I've used others, Skype softwares, and this by far is the best one you're going to use. It does come with a price tag, though. You're going to have to pay about $19 to use it. If you're going to do a lot of video interviews, put the money into it. It's definitely worth it, but I really like Avair because of the fact that it does split-screen interviews, which is great. Um, it's, it's a big feature there, so we're going to actually go now and record a Skype video interview. I'm going to show you that, so we'll just open up Skype here, and we're going to open up Avair. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of controls here with Avair, um, you know, just the main stuff when we go to options is uh, set an output folder so you know we have I have all mine going to my desktop um, if you go to options here under tools uh, you're gonna see a bunch of different options sort of the only ones I like as far as a uh, recording settings I like to manually record my calls that way uh, you know it's not automatically going if I'm calling someone that's not video interview related I get record both sides and the other key thing here is video video recording mode you want it to be side by side landscape and uh, your output you want it to be mp4 I like the highest quality you can get so uh, 1280 by 720 is great and 30 frames per second that gives you that nice sort of smooth look as well as your mp3 quality you want it same as your skype output i don't like to mess around with the skype outputs or anything like that um that that's pretty much it as far as how to record and the settings you're going to need to use so what i like doing uh, as far as testing out um you know my skype interviews is i'll actually create another account so you'll see here i use james lynch as my my regular account and then i use uh, this parting shot which is my podcast i use that as a backup account and what i do is i download the skype app on my phone and i call my phone using the skype Skype app on there. So we're going to do that right now. So as you can see, I'm online there and I'm going to give my phone a call right now and I'm going to answer it and we're going to see this uh, Ryu doll on the other side of the end there. So we're almost ready to go, but one other step I like doing is getting a program called Audacity. And what this will do is uh, you can use this software to record your end of the conversation. As great as Avair is, I find that the quality is so much better if you record on Audacity. And obviously you can't record your guest audio on Audacity, so you just want to record your end so it comes in crystal clear. And then once we're actually in here, uh, we're going to actually hit record on Audacity. And then I'm going to go over to Avair and hit record there. And then you're going to start to record your split screen video. And one thing I suggest as well, if you can, uh, go in and check on your file and make sure that it's actually loading and uh, you know that the, the file is actually saving and uh, once you're in there uh, you know you can see the megabytes are going up so that's how you know that it's actually going to be saving so just another sort of tip to keep in mind there and one other thing I'll point out um, in this 
uh, video is that uh, I didn't use my light, but obviously make sure you use your light in the video so you get uh, you know a clearer picture as far as the face and everything. Now we're gonna stop recording the video and we're gonna actually go and check on our file and uh, open it up. And then as you can see, the split screen video is there and it looks great. Uh, I know the frame rate looks a little shaky on here, but on my end, it actually looks really good. After your file's done, you're gonna have an audio file and a video file. So what you're gonna wanna do here is you're wanna, gonna click on Audacity and go export and save as WAV or MP3 or whatever you want and uh, do it that way. And then, uh, and then what you're gonna do is in the editing process after this, you're gonna put the video and the audio together and that way you'll have smooth audio along with the, the guest audio as well too. And I'll do that in a part two of this video. Guys, if you like this content, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Lynch on Sports. I've got all my interviews on there as well as I'm gonna be doing more of these extra videos on this channel like this one. So just go in there and click the subscribe button. I've got the link right here on the main page. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Lynch on Sports. I'm gonna have another video on the editing process of how to edit these videos. I've got kind of my own way of doing it. So uh, be on the lookout for that for part two on how to edit these Skype video interviews. Thanks for watching.